The idea is when a passenger plane reaches 10,000 meter height, it sprays micrometers in the upper troposphere. There is more than 10,000 flights every day. Total what it will spray will be 1,000 tons every day. These micrometers will keep flying up to 12 years. Each micrometer is a very gigantic in, in view of atoms since it consists from 1,000 million molecules. The micrometer will reflect back sunlight and heat to the outer space. The sun the sum of the surface area of these micrometers within one year will be one million kilometers which will reflect back sunlight and heat to the outer space. The resultant of this idea will be as if we have exploded a volcano which will blow 1000 tons of micrometers per day to the upper troposphere day after day and month after month and year after year. The graph show whenever a volcano erupts Earth's temperature falls down. The device used is like the small fire extinguisher contains 25 kilograms of micrometers where four of them fixed on the wall of the luggage compartment of the airplane. They spray their content from a hole in the airplane wall. The luggage workers change the empty containers by full containers during their work when moving luggage in and out. We can spray the sewage water of passenger airplanes where it will freeze to white crystal ice so it will reflect sunlight back and since each airplane has more than one cubic meter of sewage water therefore we will have 10,000 tons of crystal ice every day in three months we will have one million tons the initial cost of this idea is 230 million dollars then it will cost 40 million dollars every year my email is bryceam2 at yahoo.co.uk